Good evening. Today I will be sketching one more graph of reciprocals. And um, so I'm, I'm sorry that my handwriting seems uh, like little kids. Uh, a friend of mine was making fun of me the other day, actually. But then I told him, hey, yours is not going to look any better. Um, <laughs> on the computer, anyways. Anyways, okay, so let's get started. Uh, it doesn't hurt to start with the table of values. However, I'm, gonna sk I'm, I'm going to skip that. Um, just because I'd like to, to tell a, an approach to just graph the reciprocal directly. And the first step will be to draw asymptotes, vertical asymptotes, wherever the graph um, crosses the x-axis. So that would be right here and right there. Just basically because f of x here is equal to 0 and 1 over 0 just doesn't exist. So asymptotes occur. One right here Oops, just draw some broken lines. And another one right there for the graph of the reciprocal function. Great, okay. So now, um, I will also mark wherever the graph of y equals f of x is equal to 1 or negative 1. So one, there's one right here, another one right there, and for negative 1, I have one right here and another one right there. Excellent. So, um, now I'm just going to, to, going to go from left to right uh, looking sort of every point and uh, explain what I'm, what I'm doing. So f of x here is 4, 1 over 4, a quarter for the reciprocal, about here. Um, 3, y equals 3, 1 over 3 becomes a third. This is 2, 2 becomes half then we can already see it sort of taking shape right here. Then what happens as the graph of y equals f of x approaches 0? Well, that the graph of the reciprocal will actually just skyrocket to infinity. It will never appro actually touch the asymptote, but we'll get very close to it. Um, this line looks a little bit crooked, but <laughs> it should be a little bit smoother, in fact. Okay, what about here? So the graph of um, y equals f of x is going from 0 down to negative 1. The graph of the reciprocal is actually coming ba back, basically, from negative infinity up to negative 1. And why does that happen? Because, again, 1 over 0 doesn't exist. So if we have negative half here, 1 over negative half is negative 2. Negative a quarter, maybe here. 1 over negative a quarter is negative 4. And as we approach very tiny little values of, of 0, the graph is just going to skyrocket down to negative infinity. Okay, anyways. So this is negative 2. 1 over negative 2 becomes negative half. Um, then this will be negative 2, so negative half again. Negative 2, so negative half again. Negative half again. So it's just a little straight line here. Oh, that doesn't look that very straight, does it? Okay, so let's try again. Okay, let's pretend it's straight. Now, this is again negative 1, so the graph is going to go right there. Sorry about this. Um, and once again, as the growth graph, I don't, I don't know why I said growth, graph approaches 0, y, y over f of x is just going to go straight down once again. Sorry if I sound a bit funny today, but I'm just a bit tired. Anyways, um, over on this side, let's say I have 0 again, and as it approaches 1, it will come down from infinity and hit the 1 right there. Then we have 2 for f of x, 1 over 2, half. This, this is 3, y equals 3, 1 over 3, about a third. So the graph is going to look a little bit like this. Wow, that took long enough, but this would be the graph of the reciprocal function of f of x. I hope I made good sense, and if not, I hope that you take a look at a couple other videos so that it makes better sense. Thank you.